Bruh. Alrighty, so a quick rundown in my 300CE W124 Coupe. It's a mouthful. My economy gauge, among other things, stopped working. And realistically, I took the cluster out because a fuse blew behind the cluster because I lost all interior lights and it fucking shut the bed. So, whilst I had the dash out and further investigation, and I found this vacuum line, which plums, meant to be plumbed up to the back of the economy gauge, failed to work, or it was so simply put, was this split. It wasn't connected to anything and it was floating there in the void. So it was pretty well fucked, so I grabbed a random length of a vacuum hose that was on an old carburetor that I was trying to build, or just had laying around anywhere for scrap parts, and I'll uh, replace it and repair it, and we'll see if it works. So the extra length of vacuum hose is there. Pro tip, soak this shit in hot water. It kind of expands it. I didn't soak it because I hate my life, and I love the struggle. There he is there, just uh, chilling there. I've got to push it on a little bit more, but that's okay. So. We uh, we'll plug everything back up, including the speedometer vacuum line. I think it, that's what it is over there. And um, we'll see how it works. Now, I don't know if the camera can see much. What I'm doing is blind. Uh, there you go. And they ask you where they learn to use your hands like that, eh? I can't fucking see because of course it's happening all behind a dash and my hand is in that fucking hole. That's the vacuum fitting for the speedo, I believe. Alrighty, so after that exercise, uh, lights on the interior now work. Um, so that one because it needs a new globe and let's put our key in, whichever one it is. And let's see if that vacuum moves at all. Tick, 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 tick. No vacuum, so we got more problems. Okay. So my economy gauge, my headrests, um, another vacuum system, my lamp tilters weren't working on my W124 and they're all vacuum actuated and controlled with vacuum. So I started looking, I'm like, well, okay, well, I didn't fix a leak there. I fixed something, but it wasn't the problem. It wasn't the root cause. Now I found this Y piece and you see two hoses right here with a bit of line there. I put that in, that's uh, a bit of vacuum hose again from another car. Um, one of these Y pieces um, tapped off into this lamp and then this hose here goes over to that lamp. Now he's good. This one's not because the connector, the nipple, like plugs into here somewhere, you know, it snapped. So that is a leak, so I bypass that. And then I wanted to see, okay, well, my economy gauge vacuum system used a white and gray vacuum cable. Now this is neatly tucked away down there out of harm's way before I found it. And okay, so I started pulling on things and tugging things gently. And okay, well, that all looks pretty good to me. Okay, where's the supply go? Because it's a common problem we have. And I, uh, pulled that from out of there. So wherever the fuck that's broken, that's a problem. But I have a good feeling once I fix this, or bypass this, uh, we'll have vacuum again. Long story short, I found a vacuum leak. I was pulling on the supply and just checking out all these hoses because fucking that leads to that, which leads to that. And I was pulling on the supply for that manifold over there, so to say, the wrong one. Started pulling on them, started pulling on them, and it just kept on coming and coming and coming. So that hose is severed somewhere under here. And then it's that grey hose right there, either way of that second firewall thing, and then he disappears under there. So I'll pull him out and probably tee him off because he's on the vacuum. Some sort of, that's the Sierra take manifold that tees off. So I'll repair that, make a patch for it, and we'll uh, take it from there. Seems dumb as well, but I'm using a domestic cable snake to uh, pull through a new vacuum line. So he'll pop out over there, and I'll take the new line to it, and I'll take it from there. There we go. So snakes through, pulls come through, and now all I gotta do is go get some more vacuum line tomorrow and we'll rerun it and fix everything. Should just work like this, I'll pull him through. There we go, vacuum lines through the other end. We got vacuum there now, which is good. Push the button. Works awesome, so good effort. Well, that indeed was the problem. The uh, 
vacuum supply to here was perished somewhere under there. So I swapped it out with a vinyl three millimeter vacuum line. Hopefully this holds up to the temperature it should. If it doesn't work, it's not too hard or inexpensive to, expensive to replace. So yeah, that was good. So he just goes all the way over there under this trough. So you might need a, like a snake, like an electrician snake or a fish tape or whatever. And then it goes through the firewall there into a, will the phone do it for me? Into a vacuum key base, probably cannot see that. Well, there's a vacuum, there's a vacuum point back there. And he, uh, and he just clips onto that or gets pushed on. So I'll show you what we fixed. So those headlight tilts are still stuck because that's bypass one end because the plastic nipple is broken off the cover, which is a bit of a, annoying. So I guess these are all common faults you can look for if you're having the same dramas. You know, that's good. Goes all the way through here, normally three piece there with a nipple that clips onto that. But if, you, if your locking works, like mine did, because it runs off a separate vacuum circuit, if the locking and everything else works, except for your economy gauge, except for your headrests and tilters, or well, they're all these, those things are on the same circuit, same pneumatic circuit. So tilters still don't work because I have a feeling there must be like some sort of pressure equalization or whatever that has to happen before one or the other works. But my economy gauge now works. Um, yeah.